Zansi. Zansi, remember when Hamilton Dovu trended last year for buying five luxury cars worth 11 million rand at the beginning of the pandemic and people harassed him? Well, it seems posting his fleet of cars on social media was the worst decision because that's how SARS found out about him not paying his taxes. Hello and welcome to Entertainment News in Zansi. Now, if you're new to my channel, you know you're here for the story. Go ahead, click the subscribe button and the bell and you'll never miss an update. Samzansi, a Pretoria High Court judge, has allegedly confirmed that his assets have been frozen and some assets will be seized. At Unkopoti Dero, remember Hamilton Glovo, that chap who splashed on five luxury cars during the lockdown last year and displayed his new toys on social media while SARS has taken the cars. The North Gauteng High Court was confirmed the preservation of order granted to SARS last year. Threat. Monies were paid to the companies between March and April as follows. Hamilton Holdings, 7.2 million rands. Arbom Beta, 17.4 million. Fellingham, 7.2 million. Mock Plus One, 17.8 million. Because of his tax delinquency over the years, SARS believed that Hamilton had no plans to pay his share of a tax. At Unkaki said to think if Hamilton Zorvo didn't post those cars, we wouldn't have known about PEE, PPE corruptions. Rather, He single-handedly blew a lid for everyone. Journalists only started taking interest in him after that IG post. While another said, this judge is savage. He says Hamilton Zorvo exposed himself by flaunting on social media. He also says Zorvo saved SARS the trouble of reading his tax returns from 2016 onwards by not filing at all. He further says SARS officials sleep on the timelines and look for cases. Another business person, Zansi, who is owing SARS is a mogul, Sean Mkiza, who owes a whopping 204 million rands. According to a tweet, the long standing battle between SARS and Sean Mkiza's company, Zikulisa Cleaning, Maintenance and Transport, was heard at the Pretoria High Court, where a final liquidation order against the company. The liquidation was bought by the SA Revenue Service for outstanding debts totaling about 204 million rands. Nkiza has repeatedly stated that SARS was biased and acted in bad faith by declining to enter into a deferred payment arrangement, but the court dismissed that claim. Now, Mzansi, Mam Kiza is popularly known for her hit reality show, Gua Mam Kiza, which was one of the biggest hits with South African viewers since its debut on DSTV channel, Mzansi Magic. The show looks into the chronicles of the Mkiza and Pisane family, as well as those closest to them. Sean Kiza was the main star of the show. However, her inviolable life is filled with other important characters such as her son, Andy Limpisane, and famous stepdaughter, Spat Limpisane. Their reality show set a new record of 1.7 million views and was leading not only on reality shows, but including drama as well. Now, Zansi, could this be a major blow for her lavish and extravagant lifestyle? Do you think she will survive this knock? Now, do let me know your thoughts on the comment section below. I love to hear from you. But for now, you know, I will bring you the updates hot just the way you like it.